Hi, and welcome back to Questions from Quarantine. Our another question this week is about as states are opening up, as barbecues are heating up, and the sun is coming back out, we want to travel. So first I'll go to Professor Kayan. Talk to me about your travel plans for the summer. What is safe? What yeah. is a good idea? What is necessary? And what steps are you personally taking for yourself and your family? So that's a great question, because obviously all of us with the summer um, are thinking, you know, either we can't cancel plans because we didn't know what was going on or now thinking are there ways um, to get out of the house. So, you know, we start small in terms of the local stuff. You know, we're finally starting to socialize outdoors, have people come over, separate bowls for everything. So they're starting to sort of, as I say, sort of stretch your wings a little bit after serious quarantine. The same with the kids. They, no one's allowed inside the house, but everything outdoors, they can see friends and stuff. My kids are older. We have no airline travel plan for this summer, and I don't expect I will. I used to be on a plane twice a week um, for work. It's, you know, I'm getting a little bit antsy. Um, that part of that is, of course, just, it, you know, I live in the, you know, I, I practice what I preach. I just want to minimize risk. There's no compelling reason to get them on a plane. We can do other things. Um, and for work, I haven't been asked. I mean, the shift in the way we think about work, every conference now, September, October, all of them are still virtual or canceled. That will probably start to change in early 2021. So we are doing a road trip uh, this year, not a road trip. We're going to a beach for the month. I need to get out of the house. Um, I don't know about the kids, my middle one, after us all being together for 12 weeks, turned to me and he said, shouldn't we be renting five separate houses for vacation? Like, because because we've been together so much. I was like, that is actually a good point. Um, so we'll go to the bathroom before. We will go on the side of the road. I've been driving enough. I see lots of people doing it. I do not plan on using public restrooms, but it's only two and a half hours. Um, so we can, we can hold it. Anything further than that, there is equipment that you can buy now uh, for you know, camping equipment for more, uh, let's just say more en engaged to sort of relieving yourself. Um, and then, um, and that would be the plan. So that's it. But as I've been saying from the beginning of these, you know, don't ask me anything more than a month ahead. This is, I've, I've trained myself now. It's not my, part of my natural disposition. I like to plan way ahead. Um, but um, this, this is July. This is July for you. Dr. Bordeaux, we know you were recently in the trenches this past weekend and took your own cross-country road trip. Um, how was that experience and tied to our sanity and sanitation? Mm. How <laughs> would to say both sane and sanitary? I wouldn't say it was a huge, uh, you know, pleasurable thing. I have four kids and a very large dog, and so we end up. Uh, husband. So we did all pile in the car and it was about a 20 hour uh, trip. So, um, you know, this is all about the risk benefit ratios, right? And your risk budget, which is about values, really fundamentally, how you, how you place those. Um, you know, so I uh, did, you know, I, I, I felt we were going to a family event, so uh, it was important to get there. The th I, I've sort of used the rule of thumb that's come out of the Japanese model of the three C's, you know, avoid close contacts. So we all wore masks. Um, we uh, stood, you know, more than six feet apart, avoided crowds, um, and uh, avoided closed spaces. So, you know, the closed spaces, we did use the, the restrooms in, um, you know, along the, in the gas stations. Um, but, you know, we, we stayed apart, we wiped, wiped down everything, washed our hands, wore our masks, and, you know, I feel like that's pretty good. Um, but, you know, these are, of course, risks, and, and none, of it is, none of it is zero. Uh, but once we got to where we were going, we stayed, you know, indoors and we had, you know, groceries delivered, um, et cetera. But it was funny because we were at a place uh, where that, that was not the norm. You know, even wearing masks was kind of funny. Uh, people, people thought that was, you know, an odd thing. So, you know, we're a big country. Uh, we really, uh, information and adoption of norms is a, a complicated process. And how on earth did you stay sane in a car with I know. <laughs> yeah, forget the pandemic. I mean, I know. I know. Well, you know, as a doctor, you learn a couple of tricks, actually, which my kids reinforce, which is uh, eat salty foods and take Benadryl. <laughs> So Everybody good. eats tons of salty food so they don't have to pee. Um, I have one child I do give Benadryl to because she gets very car sick. Uh, and so, uh, so I did do it with her. But there you go. And they're like, oh, have you eaten your potato chips? They will not let my six-year-old in the car unless she has shown that she has eaten her potato chips. <laughs> well, you heard it here first from a medical professional. Lots of salty snacks. Drug and and, drug, and drug your kids, apparently. That's... <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Thank you both so much. This is Questions from Quarantine, and we will see you next week. Feel free to hashtag Questions from Quarantine for your chance to be answered next week. Thank you.